Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we will learn how to create floors pattern with the dimensions we want in 3DS Max. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. It really helps us provide more content like this. Let's get started. Select the object, and from the modifier list, choose Floor Generator. Then from the floor pattern, you can choose from many types of flooring, standard or herringbone or chevron or basket weave or hexagon. And we will create all the patterns together today. From the board size, you can change the dimensions of the flooring tiles. From max length, you can change tile length. From max width, you can change tile width. From grout length, you can control the distance between the tiles. And from mine offset, you can control the position of each tile relative to the other tiles. Now we will learn about the extrude and bevel command. The extrude command is responsible for the height from here to here. The bevel command is responsible for the height from here to here. You can see the effect when we change the extrude and bevel count. The numbers that I find suitable for me are 1.8 in the extrude and 0.2 in the bevel. You can see the effect when we change the extrude and bevel count. Now we will go to the general menu and from the scale menu, you can change the scale of the floor tiles. And from the direction menu, you can change the rotation of the floor tiles. Now we will know the effect of offset X and offset Y. You can see that the floor tiles are not symmetrical on both sides. From offset X, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the X axis. From offset Y, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the Y axis. Let's go to the herringbone floor pattern. Let's go to the herringbone floor pattern. From floor pattern, you can change floor pattern from standard to herringbone. From the board size, you can change the dimensions of the flooring tiles. From length, you can change tile length. From width, you can change tile width.
From grout size, you can control the distance between the tiles. And from parallel boards, you can increase the number of tiles. Now we will learn about the extrude and bevel command. The extrude command is responsible for the height from here to here. The bevel command is responsible for the height from here to here. Now we will go to the general menu. And from the scale menu, you can change the scale of the floor tiles. And from the direction menu, you can change the rotation of the floor tiles. Now we will know the effect of offset X and offset Y. From offset X, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the X axis. From offset Y, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the Y axis. Let's go to the chevron floor pattern. From floor pattern, you can change floor pattern from herringbone to chevron. From the board size, you can change the dimensions of the flooring tiles. From length, you can change tile length. From width, you can change tile width. And from angle, you can change the angle between the floor tiles. From grout length, you can control the distance between the tiles. Now we will learn about the extrude and bevel command. The extrude command is responsible for the height from here to here. The bevel command is responsible for the height from here to here. Now we will go to the general menu. And from the scale menu, you can change the scale of the floor tiles. And from the direction menu, you can change the rotation of the floor tiles. Now we will know the effect of offset X and offset Y. From offset X, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the X axis. From offset Y, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the Y axis. Let's go to the basket weave floor pattern. From floor pattern, you can change floor pattern from chevron to basket weave. From the board size, you can change the dimensions of the flooring tiles. From grout size, you can control the distance between the tiles. And from subboards, you can increase the number of tiles. Now we will learn about the extrude and bevel command. The extrude command is responsible for the height from here to here.
The bevel command is responsible for the height from here to here. Now we will go to the general menu. And from the scale menu, you can change the scale of the floor tiles. And from the direction menu, you can change the rotation of the floor tiles. From offset X, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the X axis. From offset Y, you can make the tile similar on both sides, along the Y axis. Finally, let's go to the hexagon floor pattern. From floor pattern, you can change floor pattern from basket weave to hexagon. From the board size, you can change the dimensions of the flooring tiles. From the radius, you can change the size of the hexagon. From grout size, you can control the distance between the tiles. Now we will learn about the extrude and bevel command. The extrude command is responsible for the height from here to here. The bevel command is responsible for the height from here to here. Now we will go to the general menu. And from the scale menu, you can change the scale of the floor tiles. And from the direction menu, you can change the rotation of the floor tiles. Now we will know the effect of offset X and offset Y. From offset X, you can make the tiles similar on both sides along the X axis. From offset Y, you can make the tile similar on both sides, along the Y axis. Easy beasy. If you find this helpful, make sure to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our YouTube channel to more advanced tutorials.